quick update. Today is officially uh, my son is four weeks dead. So essentially right now he's doing okay. He's doing as well as can be expected for a preemie. Uh, we have had quite a lot of setbacks and to me everything's new, right? Because I've never had a baby in the NICU. So my experiences and the videos that I'm making, um, it's not only just to be able to vent, but it's to show like what also may be expected. If that right now they kicked me out of the room, well they didn't kick me, they asked me nicely to wait here because they are um, putting um, they put a pick line since his IVs kept coming out kept coming out they put a pick line and a pick line is essentially a long um, like it looks just like an IV but it's really long and thin and it leads um, it usually leads towards close to the heart but for my son they put it in yesterday and for my son for some reason it went up so now they are going to try to put it back down where it's supposed to be uh, it just happens that they can move uh, because it's just a thin wire lead, like wire line that can just move it but essentially that's what they're doing so they're doing that um, because he still needs to get IV fluids his stomach is still expanding like it's still getting really big and um, he doesn't have an infection so I mean it is expected because he's on the um, CPAP machine so with that you know it pushes air uh, to the lungs but it also pushes some like some does travel down to the stomach and so in a lot of the photos like his stomach is kind of big the only time that it wasn't big is when they, they put a tube that helps the air come out um, but essentially he's, he's doing okay um, and we're just hoping that um, they're able to increase feed so he can continue gaining weight so some of the setbacks that he did have a while ago from when he was really small that I didn't mention I don't think is that he did have brain bleed so the bleed hasn't necessarily improved but it hasn't got worse and so that's a good sign he has a heart murmur um, because he was born so so small like usually in this in, in our stomach you know they're usually still developing and, and everything and that closes with time but with him because he came out so early um, it's a, it, it took a little bit longer to close um, and they did put him on some medication treatment to help it close and it actually did improve so um, for now they're not going to do any more echocardiograms or any other um, ultrasounds or anything to check how his heart is doing because um, the the opening was really small that they think that you know with time it'll close on its own but they will definitely check it before he gets um, discharged which is not going to be until a really long time so it's so one thing I think is that I, I feel like I struggle with it's literally he'll be really good like to, like let's say today he's really good tomorrow there's a setback and then you know we go you know two to four one step back 